What if I told you I could decipher what rats are saying? I think your first response would probably be, I guess that makes you a crazy rat whisperer, but why exactly is that important? Well, rats are one of our main models for biomedical research. And what that means is we use them for drug testing, cancer research, and the list goes on and on. So with all of these potential uses for rat models, you could see how actually understanding what these animals are saying could be quite important. Now what was previously done to decipher rodent vocalizations was just by simply counting them. If they occurred in a high frequency range, they were deemed appetitive. And if they occurred in a low frequency range, then they were negative. But that's all we kind of knew about that. And you could see how this is completely disregarding what's actually happening during that time. And this is where my research comes into play. I decided to explore rodent vocalizations while they were waiting for a play partner, and then see if those vocalizations correlated with any of their behaviors. Now this had never been done before, so you can imagine how exciting it was when the results came back and yes, there was in fact a correlation, and that's actually what I have shown. The active behaviors such as walking, jumping, and running are all strongly correlated to a distinct and discrete call categories. But this is just one paradigm. We had to see if this is going to work in a different situation. So after analyzing two rats playing, we found that again, the correlation is continuing to work. And further, it appears that these rodents are using the vocalizations for social communication purposes. Kind of like saying, hey, I'm over here. So what this allows for is a baseline for normal rodent vocalizations. And let's think of this like your baseline heart rate. A doctor uses this to diagnose if something's wrong and then how to fix it. Now researchers are going to be able to use this in a very similar way. They'll be able to tell abnormalities in their rats' vocalizations and behavior and diagnose what's causing it. Essentially, my research lets us read the mind of rats. And where that's going to be particularly useful is in drug testing for anxiety and depression. Right now, in some large pharmaceutical lab, someone is counting vocalizations to see if the antidepressant they're testing is working. And with my model, we know that this isn't the whole case. There could be making the correct number of vocalizations, but perhaps they're not happening in the right situation, and that's leading to social aggression or anxiety. And that's a, those are big side effects when we're talking about antidepressants. Hopefully, this is gonna revolutionize how we use rat models for drug testing and help countless of people and all by simply listening to rats talk. Thank you.